Hey, Princess House Patty fans. I am here because I just got a new box in the mail. It was directly shipped to me. And I'm excited because I've been waiting for this piece to come in because it's starting to get beautiful weather. If you were here on the East Coast yesterday, it was absolutely gorgeous. We actually had an Easter egg hunt yesterday because we had some, I had some nieces and nephews that weren't feeling good on Easter. So we had the Easter egg hunt yesterday, which was beautiful weather here in the East Coast. So I just got this in the mail and I'm going to share it. I just um, used my X-Acto knife type of thing to open up the box. So are you ready to see? What do you think it is? What do you think it is? Let's see. It's cardboard. Yay, cardboard. Um, more cardboard. Okay. Now, you know when you get Princess House products, you always get material to read. Make sure you take that material and read it as soon as you get it. Um, and then you can put it in underneath your silverware drawer so you can refer back to it. Maybe write the date of when you received it um, because it's always important. And then there's, they gave, sometimes they give you a little cute, cute um, cheat sheet too, quick reference guide. So here it is. Oh, it's the new grilling pan. Check it out. It is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So this here is 1810 stainless steel. You use it outside on your grill. So you can cook on your grill, guys. Yes, you can cook on your grill. Um, if you're joining me tonight, please let me know where you're from. I'd love to know. Um, so this is amazing. Um, so like I said, you always wanna read the information that they give to you, okay? Um, so let's see what it says. Of course, anytime you get any product from anybody, um, you definitely want to wash it immediately and dry it. Um, it's not microwave, oven, stovetop, or broiler safe. It's heat safe up to 700 degrees. That's why it's for your outdoor grill. Grilling pans are safe for use on the outdoor gas or charcoal grills only and must be used on the top of a grill grates. So if you put it outside on your grill, make sure it's on the grates on the bottom. Um, when food is finished cooking, remove the foods first and allow the grilling pan to cool before handling. So just be careful. Um, safe with metal tools. To extend the beauty of the interior finish, do not cut inside the grilling pan. It's it, not safe for silicone tools because if you're heating this on the outside grill, it's going to get up to probably about 700 degrees and that is too high of a temperature for your silicone tools. Um, it's safe with the metal tools, like I said. Um, do, 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 handles and the pan will get hot. Always use dry pot holders or grilling mitts when handling. So I do want to let you know that because you're using this at such high temperatures, it is going to create like a bronzing effect on here or on the bottom because it's such high temperatures, but it's not going to affect the pan at all. You'll still be able to use it. It's just going to be like seasoned. Like if you had any of our cast iron camels, um, it's like a patina that's going to create on here per se, but it's going to be a browning effect um, because of the temperatures. Um, it's dishwasher safe, but hand washing is recommended. Dry immediately after washing. Always allow grilling pan to cool before washing. Um, <laughs> it says use our uh, cookware cleaner to remove burnt on grease and food and follow the instructions. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. It has a half price replacement policy. Um, so... Like I said, this is our grilling pan. Absolutely love it. So I was actually watching another um, team member. She actually made homemade um, pizza dough in the stand mixer. And she took our onion and garlic seasoning and put that in the, um, the dough, which must have tasted delicious. Um, so she made the dough. She let it rise about half an hour with the yeast. And then she made a pizza out on the grill. And she put onions and pepperoni, onions, pepperoni, and mushrooms 
you know me, if you know me, I don't do mushrooms, but I would do the onion, the pepperoni and the onions. Um, and then she put it out on the, on the grill outside and close the lid. So that way on the top would get all yummy too. And it was about 10 to 15 minutes and she had a beautiful pizza. But think about all the veggies um, that you usually put in aluminum foil. And it's not really good to use aluminum foil. Now you can put it right on here. Or the baked potatoes or anything like that. You can put it right on your grill pan and serve right from here if you like. But again, it's going to be very hot. So make sure you use um, either dry pot holders or actually pot holders that are made for grilling, okay? But I just wanted to share this with you. I was so excited when it came in. It's very light, as you can tell, very light. Um, no mushrooms for you either. I agree, Betty. Um, so, like I said, I just wanted to share. Um, so let me know if you have any questions um, or if you're interested. All right. Again, it's Patty Lynch, your independent consultant with Princess House. And remember that I believe in you and you should believe in yourself. Share this out with anybody. Um, and if you're seeing this on YouTube, because I will be sharing it, please um, subscribe and hit that little notification bell so other people can learn about Princess House um, and the amazing products that we offer. But look how big it is. I mean, it's pretty big. You can't see me. <laughs> Another cool thing, I'm actually, I'm looking at the different designs it makes. Um, I'm thinking with the kids, you could probably press this down and make different things with the kids too. All right, guys. Thanks again. You have a good night and I'll talk to you later. Bye.